Today is not only Columbus Day, but also Indigenous Peoples Day. Now, your science Olivia Wolfson spoke with one group here locally while this day is so important to Native Americans here in eastern North Carolina. That's right. I spoke with Raquel Painter from Onslow Pow Wow today. She told me Indigenous Peoples Day is important so that Native American culture doesn't seem like a thing of the past. A lot of people think we are past tense for Native Americans because when you're learning about it in school, it's always in the history books where we're actually still here. Painter says that it's especially important for North Carolina as one of the first settlements. When you think about um, when the Europeans came over to settle, these were the first lands that were colonized by the settlers. So a lot of the um, Native Americans that were living here at the time had to move out west. You know, we have a lot of them still here in North Carolina. Painter is also a Marine Corps veteran. She created Onzo Veterans Pow Wow so Native Americans that are active duty and veterans could practice their culture. Native Americans are the highest serving ethnic group per capita since World War II. And to go and um, serve your country, but we're not able to have a place to practice our culture, go out in town and get Native American food, go out, put on our regalia and go dance somewhere. There's just nothing established around military bases for that. It's a free event for the public filled with Native American vendors, art, and food. Like Indigenous Peoples Day, it's one of the ways to keep the culture alive. A lot of tribes are still trying to find their identity still. You know, with the history on Native Americans, there were so many um, obstacles Native Americans had to overcome to keep their culture in, in, alive. So I think we got to definitely recognize um, Indigenous People Day for that fact that so many of them have survived a lot of um, turmoil, um, assimilation, um, a lot of stuff has happened to the American um, Indians in its history. Now their event is going to be next month right here at the American Legion Post in Jacksonville. We'll have more information for you on our website. In Jacksonville, I'm Olivia Wolfson, 9 on your side.